Hi, I'm Dawn Maselli for Dawn and Drew TV, and today we are going to be making hats. But not just any kind of hat, party hats. But this is no regular party. We're making party hats for baby monkeys. The first thing to consider when throwing a monkey party is, how big will your monkeys be? You don't want to make too small of hats. If the monkeys are big, that's a faux pas. And in the monkey world, we call that Careful measurement will ensure a successful party. You're only going to need a few materials to do this project. Paper, a cup, a pencil, and some scissors. It's a good idea to have paint to decorate the paper with so your party isn't stupid. Measuring the proper fit for a monkey party hat is easy. You take the circumference of their head and multiply it by the circumference of their asshole. There you will have the proper diameter for the monkey hat. Then you just take your paper, you put the cup on side, and you trace it. It's a good thing to have a few shots of tequila before your project. It just helps get you in the fiesta mood. Next, just cut out the shapes for your monkey hat. Kids, remember, ask a parent's permission before you use scissors or have experimental sex with people of your own gender. And now for the fun part, decorating. This is the time to really let your creative side show. It'll just prove to all those people that always said, you need some more friends. You shouldn't be hanging around with monkeys so often. We'll show them with our awesome and rad designs. We're using watercolors today. So with each individual party hat will be as different as possible. If you're having a theme for your monkey party, try to incorporate that into the design. Before I start decorating each hat, I like to think about the baby monkey that's going to be wearing it. What is their personality like? Do they like cheese? Do they prefer sunsets to sunrises? All these things you should take into consideration when personalizing your monkey party hat. Remember, there's no right or wrong in monkey hat decoration. Go with what feels right and what is beautiful. Don't be afraid to mix colors to create interesting and wonderful variations. Use shapes, lines, symbols. The world is your oyster. Some people might think it's a little strange to have party hats on monkeys, but they can go suck my dick. Make sure you give your decorations time to dry so you haven't wasted yet another Friday night being by yourself at home because your friends didn't call you back. And it's cool, they all have their own lives and we're all doing things, we're all growing up and growing apart. But um, it would be nice if they would make time for you every once in a while, like maybe answer the phone or send a text. But it's important to let your decorations dry. Next, cut up a bunch of embroidery floss in about eight inches long. Then tie them all together. Use a simple knot to tie it all together. Repeat that knot for as many hats as you need. Next, just cut below each knot. Then 
make a cut directly to the center of your hat. It's a good idea at this point to give it a little extra rip, just to give extra room for our tassel. Feed the tassel through and secure on one side using tape or glue. Then simply assemble your party hat. Use a small amount of glue to secure the monkey hat closed. Voila! I hope this tutorial helped you in your own monkey party hat making. I'm Don Maselli for Don and Drew TV. Shut up, dogs! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no support. No support. <laughs> No,